What's going on everyone? Back for episode five and guess what? The boys have brought home the bacon. For the first time, we've recorded an actual win on our road to glory. Let's have a little look at how the boys got on. First of all, shout out so rare on the sexy new graphic for sharing your teams in the game weeks. Um, but let's get into our classic so rare data image because we get a little bit more information on exactly what went down in the game week. So here we have it. Miguel Vargas, well, this was an unusual game week for him. Within the first 20 minutes, he'd actually put up a decisive as he got an assist and Cientiano found themselves 2-0 up inside the first 25 minutes or so. So getting pretty excited at this point, he was the final player to play and we really just needed him to play and not start hitting minus points. So hitting that decisive, we were actually in the cards for a little while. But Miguel being Miguel managed to uh, concede three goals and lose that decisive pretty much, leveling himself out at 36.4 points. Julio Furch did his very best to spoil the party as well, picking up a red card, which is going to give us some difficulty into next week's game week as we are so thin on forwards, we're probably going to have to use our reward to buy a new forward. Luis Reyes, Marcelo Silva and new signing Takuji Yonamoto absolutely delivering the goods for us this week. Well played boys. Hopefully we can expect a little bit more of the same next week with a few tweaks thanks to Julio Furch. Absolutely buzzing with that. Managed to pick up that $5 of Ethereum. Instead of banking it though, I am going to have to head to the transfer market to replace or at least fill a gap where Julio Furch is going to be missing through suspension this game week. If we're going to get a team out, and I think it's important, we're going to have a little look at what we can pick up on the transfer market. Nice and cheap, and hopefully within budget, around that $5 range. Let's have a look. So once I got into the lineup builder, I found that I had a little bit of a gap in that forward position because we can't use Furch as he is going to be suspended for the next game. Ricardo Centurion appears to be out as well. That only really leaves me Justin Meram, who is also unlikely to feature in next week's game. So find myself in a bit of a position here where I'm going to have to invest that $5 of Ethereum into a new player. And that new player is none other than Mikiel Kramer. Mikiel Kramer plays for Warwick in the Eredivisie. He's only got a few fixtures left, um, but he is very cheap. You can pick him up for around £3.16, pence, which is just what we did today. And we're hoping to get a little bit of usage out of him in the coming game week, just to fill that gap in the forward position. He has a decent fixture at home against Volendam and can put up a decisive. So we'll be hoping for one from him this week. Having locked and loaded our latest acquisition, Kramer's in the squad, ready for this game week. Let's have a little look at how we've got the boys lined up in more detail. Once again, we are stuck, unfortunately, sometimes with Miguel Vargas. He does, again, have a home fixture with a decent chance of a win. Fingers crossed for a clean sheet there. We're going to be bringing in his sparring partner, Carlos Beltran, into our midfield slot. He uh, hopefully can do a little bit better than he's been doing in recent weeks. We'll be hoping for a decisive from him. Takuji Yonemoto is back in again. Home fixture against Gamba for him. Expecting big things there. Our new signing, Mikiel Kramer up top against Volendam at home. Definitely a good fixture for him and for Walwick. And we do bring in the legend, Marcello Silva. Once again, he's got a fixture against Houston Dynamo this week. We'll just be hoping for a decent AA. Pushing him over that 50 to 55 limit would be fantastic. And fingers crossed, we'll be celebrating another win this time next weekend. With all that said and done, let's have a little look at the current market value of all of our acquisitions and any prize money that we've won up to this point and see where we're at in terms of our ROI. So if we have a little look at this watch list that I've created for our squad for the Road to Glory. We can see all the players that we currently have at our disposal on each and every game week. And uh, there you can see our new sign-in, Mikiel Kramer, is in the fold. Let's have a little look at the current prices. As you can see, we are kind of down on our initial investment, even with the addition of a new player. If we put that into pounds, you can see our cumulative value or cumulative price of all of those players together is £44.50. 
and 18 pence, which is down on the initial 50 pounds that we did put in. And we have to bear in mind, we also won 0.0026 ETH, which equates to about five US dollars last weekend in the game week. And we spent exactly that on Mikhail Kramer. So it is a little bit surprising, a bit disappointing that we're down on our initial investment, but we have acquired an extra player and hopefully we can continue to chip away and start adding some ETH prizes and cards to our repertoire. And fingers crossed, we'll see that cumulative price start to creep back up over the summer. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of The Road to Glory. Make sure that you like and subscribe and check back on previous week's episodes as well. Big up, hope you're enjoying the game. And if you haven't signed up for So Rare already, there's a link in the description that will give you a free card when you get your first five at auction. Good luck in this weekend's game weeks, everyone. And I'll see you next week.